The BFG is director Steven Spielberg's latest film inspired by the children's novel, and it stars a young girl played by Ruby Barnhill who meets a giant who whisks her away to giant country, this amazing world in which giants live and roam around. But the big friendly giant, as she begins to affectionately call him, is actually the runt of his world. And there's some very mean giants out there who are out to do no good. And she sets out on a mission to create some unity with not just her own world, but the giant country as well. If Spielberg's gonna direct the movie, no matter what the story is about, if I don't really have much interest in it, I'm there. Because this is one of the rare chances we get nowadays to actually sit in a theater hearing a new John Williams score, seeing a new Steven Spielberg movie, actually watching a film created by a true living legend of filmmaking. And while this isn't one of his best films ever, in fact I wouldn't even say it's one of his best films of recent years, it is a family film that I think kids are going to grow up loving. The first half of it I thought was very good. As usual, Spielberg is excellent at sustaining awe. He is so good at building sequences that can make you feel like you're watching something magical and unbelievable. With films like Jurassic Park, Minority Report, or even some of his lesser films like War of the Worlds, he has a great way of making you feel like you're watching something incredible. And he really does that very well as this little girl is whisked away to giant country and sees all these amazing sights. Experiencing these humongous sights through her eyes was really great to see, and not just because of excellent a motion capture work and a really strong strong performance by Mark Rylance, but because we're watching these events unfold through the eyes of someone who is so imaginative. This character played by Ruby Barnhill, who by the way, is fantastic in this movie. This is definitely one of Spielberg's best child performances in quite some time. I would actually go as far as saying this is the best work he's had from a child since maybe Christian Bale in Empire of the Sun. She is amazing with the comedy, with the dramatic aspects. She's a very stubborn and likable character, and by far she was one of the most entertaining parts of this movie and actually shined for me above all of the amazing CGI. Where the film faltered for me was sustaining that awe, sustaining that wonderment in its second act. The second act can get a little bogged down in some unnecessary sequences. There is some very funny comedy, some surprisingly hilarious gross out comedy that really had me rolling. I have to reiterate though, the motion capture work in 3D is really strong here. Obviously, technically, this is an excellent production. It's a Spielberg movie. Williams' music is beautiful to listen to as usual. It's just that that second half did lose some steam for me. And despite the fact that the performances were very good, the villainous characters were very stereotypical, one-dimensional giants who just wanted to pick on everybody. It's just that towards the end, it did feel kind of broken up. But I gotta say, kids who grow up watching this movie today will probably love it. And in the future, they'll watch it again, just like I watched Hook as a kid. Spielberg is still making movies for families. And that's awesome and extremely important. I'm gonna give the BFG a B. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm starting a new series of reviews for the Born Trilogy. I'm gonna have the Born Identity for you this weekend. You guys are the best. Thank you again for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized. <laughs>